a funny looking cat. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 21 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. While I was at school this week, Dad and Dalton got a lot of stuff done. They got the snow tires pulled off of Cooper's car. They got the Freightliner hooked up to the sprayer tanks. They went through the Haggy and they ordered a part for the auto steer because that's not working. I know guys, these sunglasses aren't the coolest, but they keep me from squinting. They got hooked up to our bigger disc and we're doing a little bit of welding job on here because there's a crack in it. And last but not least, they moved augers around at the bend site and they've been transferring corn. On the disc here, there was a crack at these joints, so we put in some reinforcements. I'm gonna finish this up here this morning. The bottom side needs to be welded together, so I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking here and see what needs to be done. We're hoping to start putting down some 32% nitrogen with the sprayer today. The chemical guys are supposed to bring 32% later this morning. Dad right now is over at the Missouri Crossing that got washed out, the guy who's gonna be working on that came over and he wanted to move his equipment so dad's helping him and then dad's going to be moving some corn and then hopefully this afternoon we'll be able to start in the field. You know, they move the hoses, they can just run away. It ain't hurting a thing. Sorry, but still. That's what I mean, it ain't hurting a thing down here. Yeah, but still. Just check the engine oil on this heggy sprayer. I'm gonna check the radiator real quick to make sure we have enough antifreeze in it. In case you guys see any clips from a new stranger, this is the new stranger. This is Dalton. He's got a nice mustache and a mullet. He's being the project manager behind this welding job. We're gonna see if we can get this wrapped up here this morning. Let's see if we can get these put back together. How many people does it take to change a blade? Four. Sounds like lunch is ready, so I'm gonna go eat before I get putting these together. These are all put back together now. The John Deere guys here working on the Haggy right now. The GPS wasn't wanting to work at all, and they got it to initiate once and it pulled really hard to the right right away. So they think the wheel angle sensor is bad, so they put a new one on, and he's testing that out right now. We had to put a new transport pump on the sprayer tanks. We're getting that all set up, ready to go. We're gonna grease all the S-cams and stuff underneath here, because this hasn't been greased in a year. We're gonna pull the sprayer up here. We're gonna check the air pressure, change the tips, and then hopefully, we're going to be spraying this afternoon. Dad and 
and Dalton changed the sprayer tips and so that's all ready to go. We're gonna bring that over to the main farm and get it filled up with some 32% and we're gonna try spraying. It's a healthy stream. I think a car could drive under me. Dalton's gonna put some hydraulic oil in the sprayer. It's on the ad mark. While he's doing that, I'm gonna pull the freight liner down to where we have our 32% in a big tank and we'll get the spare trailer tanks loaded up. Let's test my backing up abilities. That little blue pill would do you wonders. I'll have to look to see if we got one of them so we can let Dave's change that too. Okay. I'd better, better just get a new. Yep. Looks like we got a nice crack in the coupling as well. Ah, the many things you find on the first day of running something. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but we're gonna see if we can see any shiny on my arm. I have a lot of fiberglass stuck in it and it stings pretty good. That wasn't very smart of me. What happened was I went to go shut that back valve off and I reached across this and that is just fiberglass so I got a lot of little shards in my arm. I'm gonna open up this back tank. Front one's getting up there. We'll put some back here now. Dad, making a mess? Nah. That's okay, I just turned the fans on. It'll dry it up in no time. I'm really looking forward to this summer so I can clean all this junk up. Next year we're gonna be able to pull the semis all the way through here, forward. Instead of having to back it in, this junk just needs to go. Looks like they're moving corn out of the big bin now. We're not filling the freight liner completely full right now. This ground right here has recently been risen up, so this is soft. We want to get this packed in nice and hard before we get a full load on there, so that way we don't get stuck accidentally. All this down here is new, so it's all really soft. We were trying to hook up to this tank via the battery on the truck so the pump would work. Now I may not be the smartest person, but I don't think that was supposed to happen. This stuff that we're putting down is like a precursor to our regular weed killer. This goes down initially to help fight back initial weeds. And in these tanks we have 32% nitrogen. Sprayer's all hooked up, so we're just waiting to get this pump going. And then we'll fill the sprayer. <laughs> We're finally in the field! Yeah! I like being in the field, it's fun. So right now I'm spraying on 32% nitrogen. We do it in two different batches. So right now I'm spraying it on with the sprayer boom. And then once the corn's about knee high, then we'll come in with our nitrogen bar on the front of the sprayer and then we'll knife it in between the rows. So right now I'm doing 22 and a half gallons an acre for corn on bean ground. And for corn on corn ground, I do 33 gallons an acre. The beans put a little bit of nitrogen back into the soil. So that's why we don't have to put as much on for corn on bean ground. Right now, Dalton is running the real disc beside me. He's working this in. Normally on corn on bean ground, we do no-till, but two years ago, we chiseled this field for some silly reason, and it made it super bumpy, even after we real disc it. So we're just gonna do that one more time, and then we shouldn't have to work up corn on bean ground again.
This is another benefit of having the windmills is we get to utilize the windmill roads. So instead of driving through our field, we have a really nice path to drive on. We can bring our semis out on these, drive our grain carts down at Combine Sprayer. They're really nice. And in all of our windmill road cases, except the little stretch I'm on right now, they were placed on an old fence row that wasn't used at all anymore. So really it got rid of a weed spot and a spot for trees to grow and it looks a lot nicer. So I'm a big fan of the windmills. I think they're awesome. It's too dark to do another batch, so I'm gonna take the sprayer home and then I'm gonna wash it. The reason why we're gonna wash it is 32% is highly corrosive. So I wanna get this off the sprayer as soon as possible. I know the sprayer is already rusty, but I don't wanna make it any worse. This is an example of how corrosive this stuff is. We wash the sprayer every day after we're done using it with soap hot water and a power washer and it still gets rusty last night it got too dark for me to see all the way on the sprayer when i was washing it so i got a good blasting with just water and i'm gonna blast it with soap this morning and then get it real nice and clean since we're not gonna be running today since it's easter once our family gets here and cooper is gonna be getting the lawnmower ready he's gonna mow the lawn the lawnmower has a flat tire so they took an air hose all the way to the top garage. Y'all are gonna be watching me spray right from here. I decided not to soap the sprayer because the wind is picking up and it's starting to blow right towards the shop. I already got 99% of the 32% off, so it should be okay. Hey dad, you see this? This is how you wind up the power washer hose. Dalton did 99% of the welding on the disc. There was just a couple little things that we wanted to touch up. <coughs> He just didn't have time to do them yesterday, so I just did them for him. Okay, I'm going to go in and shower, spend some time with the family today. Today's Easter. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Probably not. Maybe, yeah, there you can. There is a wasp. I don't know what he thinks he's doing in here, but he better leave. We're gonna go find some eggs. It's windy! Sun's out, gun's out. All right, we have good news. We have really good news. I'm gonna tell you what the good news is. Look at that, look at that. Brand new, brand new bottle of Heinz ketchup. Ah, there is a God. This is the worst part of the video, guys. The end. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, ask down below in the comments, and please don't forget to subscribe. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video.